PTI. I'm Gavin Shaw, along with my partners, Andrew Slice Goldstein hey, and, Chris, and Chris Grismar. Today, we're going to talk about the USA Olympic team. They're obviously the favorite, but who's their biggest challenger? Slice, what's your take? Well, I mean, obviously, you've got to look at Spain and the Gasol brothers. Their uh, size, their talented size, as you would put it. Um, it really presents a problem for the U.S. because they're uh, missing a lot of their key big men, as you well, know, Dwight Okay, but Slice, Slice, what do you think about, but the U.S. did beat Spain by 22 points and they only beat Argentina by six. What do you think that Yeah, was? but I think the exhibition games really don't hold a lot of weight because both teams are trying not to show strategies and whatnot that they'll be using in the medal rounds. But I agree that Argentina definitely is a threat for uh, an upset. Okay, Chris, what's your take on that? Uh, I definitely agree that Spain and Argentina are the main competitors for for the gold medal. Um, obviously you stated that uh, US beat Spain by in a blowout, but when it uh, comes to the Olympics, teams are going to step up. I expect it to be a great game when uh, Team USA and Spain meet in the gold medal game, which I think it will. Um, the, obviously size is going to be an issue for US, but I think their athleticism will bring them the gold medal. Yeah, I was just going to add in that in the 2008 Olympics, Team USA did beat Spain by 38 points, and then the medal round, obviously, they struggled with them. So I don't think that's indicative of what Spain's going to be like in the actual Olympics. All right, let's move on to our next topic. We're going to go up to baseball now. The Yankees re recently acquired nine-time All-Star Ichiro Suzuki. Slice, do you think that puts them over the edge as a World Series contender? I don't think it puts them over the edge. I think that they were kind of in a three-headed race with uh, the Rangers and the Angels. And I think, you know, it really doesn't change much of anything. It gives them some speed at the top of the lineup to replace Brett Gardner. So I think it just pulled them back even. And I still think those three teams are superior to anybody that the National League is going to So who's your favorite then? Who's my favorite? You know, right now I think I'd go with the Rangers. Just because they've been there before, they got veteran experience, they're a complete team. Rangers are my pick. All right, valid points. Let's go over to Chris now. Chris, what's your take on that? Uh, Slice basically took the words out of my mouth. I'd have to go with Rangers, too. You like the Rangers? All right. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move on to our final topic. Obviously, Dwight Howard, he continues to request a trade, not currently getting it. How do you compare that to the infamous decision? No question, Dwight Howard is worse. LeBron made a stupid move, he admitted as much, and he's doing his best to repair relations with the fans. Dwight Howard, it's basically a year and a half long hostage video. He's holding the magic and any team that wants him hostage while he, dis while he changes his mind 800 to 900 times. He's basically the Brett Favre of the NBA at this point. Yeah, I think we're going to call it the indecision. Now, Chris, let's hear your opinion. I like uh, you know, Dwight Howard, he's been so indecisive for about a year and a half. The good thing about LeBron is at least he acknowledges that he made a mistake. I don't think Dwight is ever going to say he made a mistake because he hasn't done anything yet. We'll see what happens when he does finally make his decision, which I expect will be at the end of this season. Okay, that's going to wrap up PTI. Gavin. I'm Gavin Shaw along with my partners. I was thinking we should discuss another topic, but now I'm not so sure. I, I'm what, thinking what, we should sign up. Well, I don't know. I, I thought about it, but the money just wasn't there, and I don't, I don't know. I think we should. No, wait. Maybe we should do another topic. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Dwight Howard briefly possessed me. Never mind. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm Gavin Shaw. Good night, Canada.